And now to answer the question, what to do with a very ripe lemon, and not just any lemon, a Meyer lemon. I was given a big bag of them by a neighbor. Meyer lemons are different than a regular common commercial lemon. They're much rounder form, smooth, unpitted skin, and they're a little more orange color. So let's get to it while we still can. Number one, Greek potatoes, Greek lemon potatoes. So peel the potatoes, put the little bits in the compost there. I've sliced up the potatoes. I'm gonna parboil them. There we go, they're all parboiled. So lemon juice and olive oil. Some salt, and how about some oregano? How about we get some oregano on the counter? How about I get more oregano on the counter? It's probably on the floor at this point too. And pour that over the potatoes and just work that in. Okay, good, the Yuffie's gonna pick up the oregano that fell on the floor. I love my Yuffie. Look how giant this lemon is. It won't even work on my squeezer. I gotta hand squeeze it. So bake these, and then at the end, put some feta cheese on top. Delicious. The, the, the salty of the feta goes really nice with it. Okay, number two. It's a Meyer lemon cake, and I got this from the Chez Panisse cookbook by Paul Bertoli and Alice Waters. Sift together the dry ingredients, which includes cake flour. This recipe gets a little more difficult here because it's got four eggs, right? But they all have to be separated. Four yolks, four egg whites, each whipped separately, beaten separately. I guess they're whipped if they're egg whites, but they're beaten if they're yolks. When I was a kid, my mom had some doohickey that used to help separate eggs and whites, but it's not necessary. Your hand is a good enough doohickey. So the egg, the egg yolks are gonna be beaten separately with the sugar. We'll do the egg whites later. So I started off with a wooden spoon and then I was like, no, 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 I need the mama jama. Let's get the, let's get the real stuff going here. Now I'm gonna add buttermilk. And melt butter. I don't know why that stick of butter there is sitting there on the counter. Oof, and then the zest, the Meyer lemon zest is really good. I had some left over. I'm keeping in the Rubbermaid in the fridge for later. It also is really good at pasta, FYI. So now we're at the egg whites. Okay. So you've got to beat these, beat these, beat these until they get stiffer. And you can see it's starting to change. You can also see I pick way too small of a bowl. But the egg whites are proceeding. Why didn't you put it in a bigger bowl? I don't know. So you beat the egg whites to you get the peaks. Now this is gonna help make the cake very light and fluffy. Almost there. I'm almost there. And there we go. There's our peaks. And now you wanna put the dry ingredients in with the wet, but you do a little bit at a time, a third and blend, and a third and blend. Oop, there goes the egg whites. more flour. Don't rush it. Do, do it like it says. I had a heart-shaped pan, so I'm using it. And came out very nice. But wait, we're not done yet. Powdered sugar and more of the Meyer lemon juice. I take a toothpick to aerate the cake. And then we're going to slowly spoon this glaze over the cake. Now, normally I don't like anything this sweet, but I knew my son would like it. And he did. So you make those little canals to get the glaze down deep. There you have it. Two great things you can do with overripe Meyer lemons. Please hit like and subscribe.